everyone complains about America being racist, it's the Asian countries which are the most racist countries in the world. They're absolutely racist. You can, yeah. you can move to America from anywhere, and as long as you speak perfect English, you're American, effectively, right? You can move to Japan and speak perfect Japanese. You are not Japanese, and you will never be Japanese. You'll never be viewed as Japanese, right? That's how they are. Yeah. Hey, good Zach back again. Once again, let's lock in. Do y'all believe that Asia is a racist country in general? Honestly, do you believe in your honest opinion that the country itself, not particular areas in Asia, but do you believe that Asia is a racist country? Like my man said. Now, thinking about it out loud, to an extent I do believe there is some validity in something in what he says. But he based it purely on language, right? You come to the United States, you speak English, you know, they treat you like you're an American, but if you're American or a foreigner that comes to a, a foreign country like Japan and you speak Japanese, for the example, you're still going to be American. Now, I can see how he could come to that conclusion. Again, America, in my opinion, definitely a melting pot of people. You know, a lot of people there, different ethnic backgrounds, black, white, you know, Asia, Hispanic, Latino, whatever it may be. You know, there's a multitude of different ethnic backgrounds. And as long as your English is, I wouldn't say perfect, but as long as they can understand your English, chances are they'll probably believe that you are American. Right? But I kind of feel like when you go to other countries and you don't look like them, it's very rare that they're going to treat you like them, no matter how immersed in the culture you are. Right? That brings me back to like a conversation we had before about no matter how hard I try to fit in and immerse myself in the culture of the Philippines, I am still an outsider. We are still outsiders. Right? We're still outsiders, regardless of how you slice it, guys. It is not necessarily us against them. For the most part, they are very welcoming. But I do believe that we are still the outsiders. And as a result of that, we can't sit there and believe that the rules do not apply to us, right? We have to be un uh, we have to have the understanding that when we're there, we're nothing more than a guest and or a visitor in that country. You can visit the Phil I mean, visit the United States, be in the United States for a period of time, um, and you know, if you're there for a period of time and you got the money, you can actually own the land in the United States without actually being a United States citizen. I believe that's what they told me. Now, again, I be I think that's right. If you're there for a period of time and or you know, there's some residency of some sort, doesn't necessarily mean that you're a citizen of. But you can own land. Maybe I'm reading that wrong. Again, you guys feel free to correct me on that one. But for example, for any guy who really wants to own land in the Philippines, right? You know the hurdles and the headaches that we actually have to go through to get it. If you want to do it without having a Filipino partner, I believe you have to have a business of sorts in the Philippines in order for you to be able to own land outright just in your name. But if you don't, you can only have 60-40 split with a Filipino partner. Or Filipino, of course, partner. So in other countries and other lands, we don't, we're not basically given the rights as the people of that particular country, as opposed to going to a place like the United States, where it seems like even those that are foreigners in the United States, they seem to have the exact same rights as us Americans, right? It is definitely something to wrap your mind around, definitely something to stew on. I would love to hear what you guys got to say about it. That's what the comment section is for. If you enjoyed this video, you already know what to do. Share, like, comment, and subscribe. Check in my comment uh, description area below. All my good stuff, ebooks, Patreon, all that good jazz. And the good doc will be on to the next one. Y'all take care. Y'all stay blessed. Doc is out. Peace.